Hello everybody and welcome back to the iOS Arcade and today we are playing What the Golf. Now if you're not a fan of golf or maybe a golf hater, you're definitely going to love this game and if you do like golf, you're also going to love this game. What a balance. This of course was one of the first Apple Arcade titles I downloaded onto my Apple TV, uh, which is exciting because this game is available on all the Apple platforms from the phones to the Apple TV and what I'm playing on today which is the iMac Pro combined with a Backbone 1 which is a really nice controller and I've said in, in previous videos this, this controller is becoming my favourite sort of controller to play Apple Arcade games on just on the fact there's no syncing up and it's just like, it just feels nice in the Apple ecosystem. So we'll talk more about that in a later video. I think I've said that in the last three videos, so sorry if you're still waiting for that video. But we're playing What the Golf today, which is an absolutely fun game. You can just hear by the soundtrack. It's, it reminds me of the Wii days, like the, this has got like Nintendo vibes for me. But this game is just an absolute laugh. Um, for yourself if you're going through the main campaign or just showing a friend which what I'm doing today I'm playing the show the friend levels to you because it really sells the game and if you like what you see in the levels that I'm about to do then you're surely going to be downloading this on your device and if you're not an Apple Arcade subscriber this is definitely one of the ones I would say is something to try in the free trial period so now of course like I said it is controller enabled let me just go over and click on the game because at the moment I can't um, and as you can see my controller has now come alive so we have a main, main campaign but we're doing the quick play options today and we're doing the show show to a friend to really just sell this game and honestly the, the first two levels will just explain how how this game functions so like most golf games you can choose how how where you want to hit it and you can also choose the power and there you go that that is what the golf but what's special is how the next couple of levels go so again we've got to get to the flag but uh, it's not the flag this time. We're actually <laughs> whacking the person, and that one has ragdoll physics as well. So it's not just like it's not just like the person stays still. There's <laughs> nice ragdoll physics. There's um, now a house we've got to get to the hole, and this is where you get to know the game's sort of like aesthetic golf jokes. Home in one. So this is actually one of my most favourite levels here. Um, and also, I don't know, I can't remember, but there's a lot of cats in this game. Uh, there's a dog at the back there, but there's always seems to be a black cat lurking. And <laughs> now we're fight playing as the hole, and we're going to get it in the one. And if any of you, you know, guess what the joke's going to be, if I can actually get it in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that was certainly not a hole in one. So, And the game just gets more and more quirky as you go along. Oh no, no. <sighs> Well, we know, I know what it's going to do this time. And I've still been duped by the flag. So, oh no. There we go. Bad flag. All right. And again, more cats. We've got to go try and get the, I think it's the clubs here. So we could do this in two. Nope. Oh my god. I could do it in three, four. <laughs> and now we've got an office chair. Which, you know, we can all relate to this. We've all wheeled on an office chair before. And I wonder if the game creators a lot were like, let's put an office joke gag in here. Especially if you've been working from home. I'm sitting on a wheelie chair now. Don't if you can hear my wheels. Some of the levels have little quirks as well. So this one, like the others, you have to hit the ball normally and then wait for it to stop moving. But this one allows you to keep going. Ooh. So, and it, and it, uh, again, it has a really nice colour palette for a golf game. So this is a, a, there's quite a few memorable levels if you play this. You don't forget them. Like, you just know exactly how they go. Football and soccer. <clears throat> and now we're into some of the more adventurous levels. So, I, I can remember this like it was yesterday. And, I, and I've had Apple Arcade now for, I think, seven months. So, yeah, this game stuck with me. And I think it's still installed onto my Apple TV. We're going to take the cat with us. Why not? I wish we had bonus points for that. Now, you're probably going to know this theme. I mean, just listen to the soundtrack they've got. They've got an actual soundtrack to this level. I just think that's amazing to just reference other video games. And there's quite a lot of references, and I think that's what this game is. It's just one big mic take. And that's why I said at the beginning, if you're not a golf fan, you're going to enjoy this because it, it mic takes out of everything. Mario, golf, what else have we had? We've just had, well, mainly golf jokes, to be honest. I'm just thinking, can we level the ball up? Yeah. So, I wonder what it would actually turn into, a tennis ball or something. So, and there we go. And uh, maybe that's why I get the Wii sort of uh, theme for it. Some wind physics there as well. And now a portal. 
So that and that, and of course it is a puzzle game, which I'm just trying to think how we. Uh, there we go. I was expecting it to say something. Ah, yeah. Now I remember the joke. Now it's going to say something about cake, potato. If there's no cake joke, it, oh, I was wrong. Oh yeah. More cats. <laughs> it's actually got some better driving physics than some of the games I've actually played. Oh. Okay, maybe not when you're in a tight space like I am. I'm destroying the place. The whole, like, telephone lines have come down. Oh, my God. Whoa. This one didn't even tell me. Oh! Can I recover it? Let's do a Yui and then see if we can get through. Yeah. It, I mean, that was actually... Really, I'm actually finding it hard to commentate because I'm focusing so much I'm not falling off the edge. These levels are insanely difficult. <laughs> No! Hey, honk! <laughs> That's funny. Hey! And now we're whacking a cat. I like how you can save yourself when you're falling off the map. And there is no, um. Perfect put. There is no, like, um. Like, failure of this game, and that's what's nice. Ah, look at this. Now we've got. What would you call this? Ast Astro? Astro? I guess gravity physics? I'm not too sure. I would try to think of a really posh word that you could say for like uh, atmosphere and graphic, graphic gravity. So look at that, it's so cool. We're emulating. I was gonna say the moon, but that's where we just. Oh, we're back to where we started. <laughs> I tried to do a cool shot. I was showing off. Oh, I wonder if we can get a good trajectory. Oh, that was cool. And now we're on Earth. Ooh. I think with the controller, it's a lot harder to not go full power though. Oh, I failed it. Okay. Uh, there we go. No, I'm gonna, I might need the mouse for this one. So, I don't remember if the controller be. Is it gonna come back? Oh well. Wow. <laughs> right, let's just. Uh, yeah. See this one, you can do like a half shot, which I feel like you need. Wee! Nice. So, a little help from the mouse there. Right, so we sort of done full circle. I don't know whether they're Twitter birds over there. Um, oh, just, I think I remember the joke. <laughs> oh, I, wasn't, I actually wasn't expecting that one. On point. I thought it was going to say tweet tweet or something like that. But there you go. That is the quick play level. Um, if I jump back to the main campaign, because I think it's nice to show some of the other levels off, but I don't want to spoil too many of the gimmicks. So basically, this is how you navigate the world. Uh, you just basically are a golf ball um, finding different holes. I'm trying to work out which way is more recent levels. Yeah, okay, so I've not done these. But these are fresh. I've never done these, so let's find out what it wants me to do. I don't know whether that's a sort of a level map. Yeah, these are like 2D levels. I don't really like the 2D levels. They're fun, but they're not as fun as like the 3D ones. But uh, let's have a look at this one. I feel like they're all going to be the same. They are like themed areas. Okay, let's try it. So, got to do this in one. Fail. Oh, okay. So this one, this one is a is a trajectory game. There we go. Nice, <laughs> perfect. Nice. What's it want me to do now? Hit the flag. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realise. I thought it wanted me to go up with those wind effects there. Right and this. What is this? That was the slow mo effect. Remind me of. There's a game, isn't there? A bit like Fallout, but uh... oh, uh, you know that I know what it reminds me of. Any of you GTA players, when either one of the main characters is uh, doing their special ability and they go in slow mo, that's what I got there. Obviously, that's not a reference. Hey, and now we got the crown, so we can then. I don't think we can move on because I think we've got to do all these levels. I've literally picked up where I left off on the Apple TV here. Oh my goodness. So now we have a bouncy ball. Oh, go on. This would have been beautiful. I'm not going to touch the controller and just see if I can get it to go in. Oh, it was close. Eee! I did that in one. I don't know whether that was a, a one-shot thing. Oh, my goodness. Now we've got to make sure none of the blue balls hit the... Ah. So if you want a challenge... Oh, my God, this is even harder than I thought. If you want a challenge on your way home from work... On the train and bus. This game is definitely gonna 
annoy you enough to never want to put it on again. <laughs> Can we do another shot? Oh, yeah. I feel like that was a bad idea. Yes, it was. Instantly regrettable. You've got to sort of separate... Uh-oh. Oh, this could be good. This could be... Oh. Nope. I just know. As soon as you fire the blue balls in that direction... Oh, look at that. That is MLG Pro skills, that is. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Let's know the crown for my... Trophy cabinet. I've actually taken warmth to the 2D levels because it seems though they have some nice challenges. What we got here? This looks like a slime, but how? Oh, he's sticky. Oh, look, there's actually a par counter. I'm going to fail now. Ah, okay, I can get behind this. So I just need to jump higher. You don't want to be going down there. Don't think I can complete it because he's sticky. Hmm. So maybe higher? I think you need to get a better lift off that. But oh no, see that there just. There's no way. No way. No, I need to I need to be like here before I'm even anywhere near it. Maybe I'm going it about the wrong way. Well that's not gonna help, no. Can always restart the level. Let's try again. Six. It's a par of six. Nope. <laughs> at least it leaves that on the restart button. No frustrations. I, don't, I just. Maybe higher, but. I just feel like we need to completely. Ah! No, I know what it is. So I'm going too sharp on the wall. <sighs> I wanted to land there. I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. This is how we do it. So we're going to do the same moves as before. No, we're not. We're going to we're going to we're going to fail. <laughs> I am going to pass this level. Oh, I think I've failed it again. Oh no. You see? See, I actually think I had an extra. Oh, come on. I mean, yeah, if it was real golf that wouldn't have counted. But like it was inches away. Right, now we need to go straight up. Okay. And then aim high, but not high enough to hit the roof. That was painful. I wonder how many attempts it'll take to complete this level. Oh, that felt better. I might be able to. I thought I got lucky then. Oh, that feels good. Now we were too short last time, so let's aim higher. Physics! Yes! Nice. I really was panicking then. I was like, if I fail one more time... It's not going to look good on the video. So now we've got to hit the flag. But have we got a par in this one? Or is it just more of a difficult level? I'm going to go with option two. <laughs> As demonstrated. It's definitely about knowing... You're definitely going to be a physicist by the end of this. Because you've got to learn weight. The distribution of it. The different type of ball. Now I'm going to play this one safe. And see we like a bit of like a spider ball. Hey, That was actually not where I was aiming it. A lot of people have the greed. Let's just complete this lab section, and uh, and then I think we'll we'll call what the golf a day maybe I don't know I don't know what the term would oh wow I'm not sure if there's a golf term to I'm done with golf today I'll see you on the green again is it the green I hope I've not offended any golfers but if you want to learn golf terms this is probably the perfect game to learn it what the now that gives me PS1 vibes, but or oh, Nintendo. It gives me this game. I feel has a lot of influences from uh, a lot of games I grew up with, or just maybe a game I've seen on the App Store. But hey, there we go. I, I could have technically done it with one. Let's do this for the final level then, because I feel don't. Ah, right. How about we trap the blue balls down here? Because I feel like that. If you like problem solving, this could be a game for you. Imagine like how many ads I could have done with all the sayings. I think because I like this game, it really helps when you're playing it. Right, now we've got to be... What, what do they have against blue balls? And as he says it, I might have worked that out. <laughs> yeah, boys. And there we go. So that is what the golf. This is definitely a game I enjoy. And I'm surprised I stopped playing it because it's just insanely fun. 
and we unlock the the 2D golf dimensions trophy. Now, what is this? What is this? Oh, it looked 2D. I was expecting it to fall back down, but we seem to be in a new area. I'm not sure what these little things are, but uh, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I don't even know where to go. I guess I go down this pipe here, and uh, do we blow it up? What do we do? Nope. I don't know. But anyways, that is what the golf. If you have enjoyed today's video, then consider leaving us a like. And if you want to keep up with everything that the Apple Arcade is doing, whether that be upcoming games or just more playthroughs with myself, then consider subscribing. We've actually had a, quite a growth, more than I thought we, do, we did. So it's really nice to see that we are starting to get a lot of you. And, and consider, you know, leaving a comment about the games or any of the Apple Arcade games that you enjoy that you want me to bring up on the channel because I am making this channel just to bring... You know, the, just, well, it's just to bring a catalogue of games to play because I find it sometimes hard to look at the pictures and the description and, and see if it's a game for me. So I've been doing this to show, you know, is this game for you and what the golf is up there. Probably second best game on the platform. Well, before I started doing this channel, there's a lot of games and I've covered them on the channel already that I've actually enjoyed. I'd put this in my top 10 and maybe that's a video I need to do. Top 10 Apple Arcade games to try because this is definitely one of them that's just fun. You know, you can do this with friends. It's something that's nice. So, yeah, that is What the Golf. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.